Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Age Goodness. Thank you so much for being here today. We have another Goodwill Blue Box. This time, this one is from Nashville, Tennessee. So we will see how Nashville does. The last box was from New Jersey. We had a pretty good box, I tell you. My goodness, they used a lot of tape this time around. There we go. We had a bag within a bag. This time it is all just loose. So hopefully, if I put this off camera, we'll be able to, or at least to the side here, we'll be able to pull. Right off the bat, it looks like we have a bunch of statement pieces. Let's hope everything is there. Let's kind of push this off. Let's see. I know the camera, if I have it too close, the camera is going to pick up on nothing but the box here. How about there? Mm. All right. Well, we'll just watch and we'll see. There we go. Okay. This one is missing a really big, really big little group of jump rings, but that is an easy fix for somebody. This certainly has that jade look. It's in really nice shape. It just needs a little work. So we'll see. I mean, you never know what we'll find in the bottom of the box. Maybe it'll show up. In the last box, we ended up with a ton of bonus hairs. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, everything. Oh, look, I got this one out. <laughs> oh, we've had this one. We liked this one. Oh dear. Okay, gang, you have to forgive. There is a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, okay, the clasp is worn, but um, and we're missing some jump rings. Uh, but the bottom pieces are still in pretty good shape. So you know, so far we're gonna have a lot for craft. But you know what, folks, make some beautiful things out of craft. Um, okay, this piece looks, uh, you know, to be in pretty good shape. I think um, somebody would definitely be able to still wear that. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Okay, gang, we are <laughs> going to end up with the tangle of shame yet today. Let's see. Okay, I am really digging this piece right here. Maybe not so much the one that is trying really hard to be in the in the spotlight here. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Okay, now if this doesn't scream springtime and really, really pretty, has that uh kind of that crackle look. You know, not bad. It's not in bad shape at all. Nice. All right, that, hey, I tell you. Wear that with, you know, a t-shirt. Even just a t-shirt would go okay with that. You know, I am avoiding that tangle at all costs, folks. All right, this one, so far from what I'm looking at in this box, it looks like they took all of the statement pieces that they could not sell and plunked them in here. Um, okay, looks like this one is all here. Again, the clasp is not in good shape. This feels kind of a little, a little grimy. So, you know, but it's all here. We'll see how it cleans up and, you know, replacing clasp. And it's not like it's in bad shape. I just don't like it's a little discolored. So eh, we'll see. I know I'm not going to have a choice. Sorry. I'm going to have to address this tangle sooner. Oh, bonus hair. Sooner than later. Oh, look. We got something out. Oh, it has rhinestones. That's a nice little added touch. Okay, we've got a clamper. And it has the rhinestones here. Um, hopefully that's not rust. We'll take a look. Uh, this box is nothing like 
the box we got out of New Jersey. Oh my goodness gracious. Almost. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, they're enameled. Well, some of them are enameled. Okay, the ladybug, which on the last video we had some cute ladybugs, and I insisted they were bees. I don't know what it was with me and bees. Okay, I saw enameling. One of these had enameling, didn't it? Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> All right, cute little charm bracelet. Uh, looks like maybe just dirty. Maybe it has like, you know, that box grime on it. See if I can't clean it up, but that's not, that wouldn't be bad. Okay, this is one of those uh, like Claire's icing, Claire's, uh, the BFF, and it is the cute little, and all oh, these ones move. This little pendant is a bubblegum machine and has a little, little tiny seed, like little seed beads in it. Cute. Okay, this is an older piece. It certainly looks like it. Marked at all. Usually they're marked like Hong Kong. And this, this might have all the rhinestones. Looks like it might. And it definitely has a little bit older set, um, feel to it, prong setting. Okay, that is a nice little piece. All right, gang, I'm going to have to go into this eventually. Okay, this is uh, this is kind of broken. All right, let's just not worry about that one. Let's take a look. Let's hope, shall we? Okay, just give me a minute. Let me let me separate these for a sec. All right, I declare us the winner. Okay, this is what was in that tangle. So this here, I'm not sure if that is a rest spot or just like maybe someone was cleaning. But I will take a look at this. Older style construction. That's beautiful. At least all the stones are there. Come on, help me out. But I really like this piece. But there's this one pink spot right here. I'm hoping it is just, um, you know, some form of cleaner. Here, let's move this off to the side. Let's get it tangled all over again. Yeah, this is triple strands. This one is marked jewels. You know, this part doesn't look too bad. A few of the jump rings, however, have a lot of wear. So this one, while it has some nice weight, has some beautiful rhinestones kind of sprinkled through it. It really is going to need you know, quite a bit of work. I mean, I, I think just about every jump ring has copper showing through. So, hmm. All right, we have another rhinestone piece. Again, this one is prong set. And it looks, looks like it's all there. The back looks to be in pretty nice shape. So, I mean, I think, I mean, granted, you have to have a teeny little neck for this. But I think that would still be okay. We have an icky dangle. It's not fabulous. Okay, no mark. Okay, nice long necklace. It has the little rhinestone here at the end. We have the silver finish, uh, you know, like the silver the diamond sparkle on the one side and the champagne sparkle on the other. Okay, you know what? It looks like it's in pretty good shape other than a little bit of scuffing right there. But, you know, still very wearable. I don't think anybody would notice that. 
Okay, this thing was in the middle with all of the earrings. There's quite a few little earrings in here. Okay, where's the clasp? Here we go. Okay, well, close enough. Okay, we have the triple strand on the bottom. Looks like painted shell. Uh, but, eh, I, don't, I, I think it'd still be okay. We have glass beads, glass pearls. We have some nice shell here. Okay, these are not glass. These are acrylic. And the clasp is in pretty decent shape. So you know what? I mean, this is a really, really long piece. And I think this one is actually very nice, still wearable. I mean, this one has just the teeniest bit, but that could just be, you know, the characteristic of the piece itself. But all in all, I think that piece is stable, still a nice piece. Okay, this is two faux pearls on a string, saveable. Okay, this is heavy, so... I mean, there could be a mark, you know, tucked away somewhere. I'm not seeing one at the moment. There's my phone. Um, but you know what? This has nice, nice structure to it. It has a nice feel. I think it's going to clean up really nicely so okay that's nice long piece that's that that's doable that piece is doable okay this what is this okay i think some i think a price tag may have been tied to it um all of the rhinestones are prong set again and they're all there they're all green they have that really beautiful green Again, you have to have kind of that smaller neck. I think it'll clean up pretty nice. So, I mean, it's a little, little kind of wonky, but not too bad. Not too bad. All right, this is multi-strand and very, very long. And boy, this was tangled in everything. So let me pull it through. I mean, there is a lot here. So you have a bunch of these chains, and then you have this big station. Uh, you know, it's not as heavy as you think it might be. Uh, this would be okay for everyday wear, I think. Clasp is in decent shape. You know, I mean, it's obviously dirty. We'll give it a nice, clean... I mean, that's the only thing about doing the boxes this way, is that you're going to see the jewelry dirty, and I, I really... Unfortunately, I'd rather you see it in its glory. And you go, oh, that's so pretty, as opposed to, ooh, and look at her hands, they're filthy. <laughs> and they are. But this is, I think, saveable. I, I think we can do some work with that. It's got to be NY. Yeah. Okay. We've got some jump rings that are showing wear. But it just means that somebody loved it, somebody wore it. The chain doesn't look like it's in bad shape. Just on the bottom where, you know, you would have worn this. But we have this, this beautiful, like, gold shimmer here. This piece is very safe. Really, I think, other than the wear on the jump rings here, I think this piece is definitely still wearable. It has beautiful color. So I, I think that's still a stable piece. All right. This is what was kind of in the middle. This is a beautiful earring. Enamel earring. Kind of a boho cat's eye earring. Well, this isn't an earring. This is a necklace. Well, let's take a look at that. We have some glass beads. Uh, this one is not in... Fabulous shape, but it is nonetheless included in this group. Okay, you know what? This kind of looks like a Chico's or could be. I don't see a mark. 
nice little rhinestones here. And shell and resin. So we have this little group of earrings. I really hope we find the other one of that. That's that's gorgeous. Uh, the enameling is really cute too. Really, they're all cute. Okay, so we have these as earrings. We'll put these off to the side in case we happen to find the other one in the box. It wouldn't be a video without dogs drinking. All right, this is what I thought was an earring. Okay, we have just a fashion. Not, okay, now the chain is gorgeous. If you have, if you don't do anything else with it, this is a great fashion chain to repurpose. And it's cute. I mean, it's just a little very lightweight pendant. Uh, are those, is that paint or oh, little tiny, tiny rhinestones? So not bad. I mean, that piece looks like in good shape. Okay, this, oh, all right. Well, this would have been cute. It says hope, but it, the whole tip is broken off. So I'm going to more craft. All right, let us see. Made in India right here. You know what? I'm wondering if we can't buff this out a little. Mm. Yeah, there are some really, looks like some big wear here. I'll still try to see what we can do because it still has a sticker in it. I think this is probably just beat up from, you know, wandering around in that box. So we'll, you know, we'll have to see. Oh, the shark's tooth is broken. But you could save the rest of the beads, I'm thinking. Great gang, I'm thinking this is going to be one big statement necklace box. Our last Tennessee box did not, it did not uh, turn out well. Okay, these are acrylic. These remind me of like Easter eggs, the coloring, you know, at the end and everything kind of starts looking similar. Um, but this color... It's a single strand, lots of beads. These are plastic, but the color is kind of, I'm kind of digging it. Hmm. All right. Not bad with that. All right. We don't see a ton of orange. See, I mean, this is just like dirt stuck on there. Um, clasp has a little wear, not too bad. But it looks like all the beads are in pretty good shape. So, you know, I think somebody could still be rocking that one. All right. Oh, we've got like everything going on here. Okay, this one. Okay, this clasp is in very nice shape. These are acrylic. Yeah, they're all acrylic. Very nice with the royal jewel tone colors. That's not bad. You know, I mean, it's not, you know, you're not going to make your money back, but really the beads, a few of these are really, really cool looking. So, okay, so there's that. Okay, now you guys all wanted to come in and play at the same time. Okay, these are heavier. Uh, this has that older style closure. So, you know, these could be coated. I mean, they're heavy. They're cooler. I mean, they could be coated uh, plastic, coated wood. But with this closure, you've got a little bit, maybe some age going on. So I like those. This has a very similar feel to it. Clasp is still in pretty good shape. Classic black and white. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, this isn't like overly heavy, but it's not like kid plastic either. Okay, neither is this. Um, clasp on this one is not so great. Probably needs to be replaced. We've got hand knotting between these cool, funky, plastic, iridescent beads. So, you know, that is just a fun piece. I think that is just fun. A very similar style. I think the, I think the, 
think the closure has already been replaced. Oh, bonus here, sorry. Uh, has been replaced. Okay, that is very similar to the last one, except these are heavier. They have a little black bead in, uh, as a spacer. Okay, so that was not bad. Oh my. Okay, well, we've got, we have a few. Let's see what we have here. I think. Hmm. Did I see the end? I'm holding the end. All right. Okay, so we have some issue. These are uh, plastic beads, acrylic beads, and we've got some issues with it being broken. But you know what? Somebody could easily fix that. This one doesn't look like in good shape either. Let's see what we've got going on here. Oh, I, um, what on, okay, well, okay, well, this connected to somewhere, maybe to here. I think we're missing a bunch of this necklace. <laughs> okay, craft. Ooh, this is heavy. This is nice and heavy. Charming Charlie. You know what? I, it surprises me that sometimes Charming Charlie has some um, questionable, um, you know, craftsmanship. And then sometimes, like this piece, has some weight, I think, just by rubbing it just a little here. I think this is going to polish up nicely. Really, I think on the skin tone, it's got a nice feel to it. I think this one... I think that would be a beautiful piece. Well, we'll clean it up. We'll give it a go and see what happens. Hey, gang, you've got to be kidding me. There is not a ton left in this box. All right, let's see. Um, you know, well, this is like a Claire's. I, this is not even, um, you know, a little choker. This looks to be in pretty good shape. All right, so we have a bracelet, beads, and you know, either like a leather cord or faux leather. Some pretty wooden beads. It sure seems to be okay. Um, you know, these are pretty standard. They're not even um, dyed or varnished, and then you've got um, the nuts. So not bad. I mean, very, you know, it's a very classic, very classic piece. Little choker. Oh, it's, it's dirty. Mm, not feeling that. This one is, oh, it has some major condition issues. It says, hey, y'all, but, um, mm, that craft. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Yay. All right. Let's see. This has some, this seems to have tiny pieces or really, really large pieces. Uh, very small. Again, this is going to be choker size, uh, collar size at best. <laughs> but cute, the little diamonds. I mean, it doesn't seem to be in bad shape. I mean, this box is going to be challenging uh, to find, you know, kind of like that that wow piece. And these are gambles. I mean, who knows what on earth you're going to get. All right, this is two little bracelets that were hooked together. This one has little, I mean, we're talking tiny beads on chain. And the chain looks a little, a little worse for wear, but yeah, I'll take a look at it. Now, this one has these cute little pearls, cute little seed beads. Uh, we're missing one here. So, okay, these are probably both going to end up in craft. Let's see what we have here. Oh, here, okay. You know, everything's kind of, oh, see, it's always an earring. If you can find the earrings, it's 
always an earring in the middle, but this one's Jane Diaz. Oh, that'd be great. It's a cute little earring if we find the other one. Here's another one. This is kind of a fun and funky clip on. Not in the greatest shape. I know, so, but let's put it up with the earrings. Okay, I'm digging this piece. It just happens to be in love with everything else. Let's take a look. This marked at all. No. And we're missing the pendant. All right, so on this deal here, if the pendant, whatever was hooked to this, is not in the bottom, this would still make a very nice pendant chain. And we just slide that off and then put on your own pendant. So that's okay. That's, I'm not mad at that. And this says, this key says journey. And then it has the directions. And it says 925. Wow. Um, I think that says Italy. That is a hard makeout, gang. Let's see what's on the other side. Anything? WP. So it has WP as 925. This has journey, and then north, south, east, west. Huh. Well, that is interesting. I have to take a look. I am not so crazy about the, you know, the leather, but I leave it on there because, you know, you can tell um, it's been sliding on there. So whether, whether uh, to be replaced, eh, I'd leave that up to a new owner. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have everything that doesn't want to leave the box. <laughs> All right. Um, this one looks like in really good shape. It's plastic. These are not glass. But, oh dear, I'm so sorry, gang. It is a dirty box. It's long. We have the black chain. We have all these really pretty acrylic beads. Okay, this piece, not bad. Not bad at all. Like that. Okay. So this is multi-strand. Okay, this looks to be in great shape. Is this Avon? It's got that little shape. And RQ, it's got the little Avon hang tag. So I have... Now, NR, yes, NRQ. That's interesting. That may be newer, maybe. Seed beads. Triple strand with the gold bars on the bottom. That very nautical looking. I think somebody would totally be rocking that. All right. Okay, this is the one that I said oh, I really liked. Okay, somebody did too. The clasp is a little worn. These are beautiful mother of pearl. Not sure what these ones are here. I have a feeling it's bone. Uh, as long as you don't see any uh, certain lines. Yeah, I don't see anything like that. Uh, but beautiful mother of pearl. These, these are carved wood. Wow, and it's a long piece. Let's pull it through. That has some great color between the mother of pearl and these beads. Nice. Okay, I like that one. Okay, this is heavy. What on earth is this? Okay, this is very boho-esque. Here we have metal beads and a bunch of stone. 
and then brass. Huh, okay. So here are they all do it this way so they can get in the light. <laughs> Stone pieces. Do them like this and get a chance to see them this way. So they're in like this rounded disc. And then we have rounds and then tubes. This is really, this is heavy. I mean, this thing is really, really heavy, but cool. All right. So, hey, between this one and this one, I think these are the pieces of the box. Oh dear, we have no of the box gang. We don't have much of anything left. I'm gonna end up dumping the last little bits here. I think they're all like little earrings. Well let's see what's let's see what we have here. Okay, toggle, any name? No, and there's, okay, what, there's something on this stuff. Ick. Okay, nice, funky acrylic, like free form, and then standard shapes. Okay, that is fun. That is really fun. And it's got some decent length, too. Okay, now that is I would like that. All right. Sorry about that dog's barking. All right, this one still has part of the little plastic. This one says Flower Girl. Uh, you know, it's an inexpensive one, but it's cute looking. I think a little girl would be happy to wear that. Um, uh, you know... Uh, costume really really inexpensive but the beads are pretty though nonetheless oh, junk this is boy this got tons of base metal showing through this is kind of a cute design that's a avon can't read anything with avon cute little bracelet not bad Okay, let's see what this one is. Nice big lobster claw, goodness. These are all acrylic and not in great shape. This is going to be crap. All right, guys, this is all we have left in the bottom here. I don't want to just dump it and see all the glitter and gunk in the bottom here. Let me just scoop it out and see what we have. And then I put this paper. And we have one little area left. Alright, so that's all, that's all that's left. I uh, does not look like we ended up with any matching earrings. All right, so we have this really, these two, I mean, this one's kind of an older style. And boy, is it, it has seen better days. This one is destroyed. Uh, that would go nice in an earring lot. So would this one. This is heavy. I would have expected Monet or Napier on this one. Is that anything? You know, when you want something so badly to be signed from them. But, okay, this is a great one. That'll go on an earring lot for sure. This one is missing a bunch of faux pearls.
This looks like a little shoe clip. This is missing something big in the middle. That one just has a whole ton of wear. Little wooden. It's like an Art Deco looking piece. Has a very modern feel though. Here is a part of a key that was broken off of something. Here is, oh, you know what? We have these in a different color. This is kind of like two cha cha for words. I love these. They have so much movement. It's a, you know, a clip on earring and it has a ton of beads. So it's great for repurposing. Okay. And then we do have a few. Oh, here's one. We have a few little singles. Oh, bonus hair. So sorry. So no, we don't have a matching pair of earrings. Okay, this is an earring too. Little beads. Is there anything in this one? We have a few singles. And then we have a few more pieces. So no, we don't have anything in the way of matching earrings. We have a couple singles. I'll take a look at those really, really quick to see if anything is silver or gold. And beautiful flag brooch. That's in really nice shape. Really nice shape. Okay. Acrylic beads. Yeah, just some cute, beautiful color acrylic beads, and it has this almost uh, little kind of like a spatter, speckle paint look to them, and then the little pendant drop. So, you know, really, somebody can really still do some nice wearing with that one. And we have some mother of pearl or um, at least um, cat's eye. Yeah, I don't think those are tiger's eye. That's I think that's just a cat's eye um, bead. And this is a little wooden piece that somebody has dyed. Really, that is a cute piece. With the the not mother of pearl, they're a uh, shell shell beads. You can see all of the inside of the shell that which is gorgeous. So that is a nice piece. All right, what on earth? Man, are these heavy. You know, with this coloring, I mean, do they want us to think this is coral? Because this is not coral. Maybe something else, but this is so freaking heavy. Beautiful color, though. Look at this color. I don't know what this is, guys. Well, time to take a look. Is it marked? Let's see. Well... There's this, <laughs> if this helps anybody. Hmm. Well, this will take some looking. Okay, and what is this? Okay, another earring. Oh, see another earring. It's always an earring that is making friends. Right, let's see if I can get this off of here. All right, so it looks like we have and that says Sterling. This says PC. I 
And then the jump ring is marked P-R-O, I think that's P-R-O-C-H-A-I-N, Prochain, and something else. Usually jump rings are not marked, at least not the ones I have found. Yeah, they both say Prochain. Interesting. Okay, so there's a little bracelet. We'll have to check that. Here is a boho earring. Again, not one matching earring this time around. Oh, ribbon. Ew. Okay, the ribbon is gross. <clears throat> All right, this looks like tarnished silver, though, with the initial H, which would be interesting since that's the initial of our last name. It's very corroded. It needs some love. Uh, the clasp also, and it's marked 925. It has that earmark to it. You know what would be great? So is um, here. The, the findings are also, they're marked SX925. So there's a good chance this little H is also going to be 925. So we will test this. We'll test this. We'll take a look at these. Let me pause it really quick so I don't keep everybody. I know everybody's got things to do today. So let me take a look at these, see if there's anything going on. Oh, and here's a ring. I forgot about that. Stuck in this little group. Uh, it's not marked either, but um, let me be right back. Okay, the earrings did not pan out, but these three are not magnetic, so let's go ahead and... I know my stone is in really bad shape. I need a new one. Alright, this is a very interesting... Looks like someone had started to make a setting for a stone. So we have that one. Let's just take like the middle here. Test just the clasp and then let's pick somewhere on the H. Okay, I use 18 karat, it's a little easier for it to show up, definitely easier to show up on camera. All right, let's, let us see. And we have silver. Nice. All right, so we have the H, which is cool. We have this standard bracelet, and then we have this interesting ring. It is not marked at all. So I'm wondering if we have silversmith practicing. And unfortunately, the earrings didn't pan out. We didn't end up with any matches. But we had a couple of very interesting pieces. This was from Tennessee. Unfortunately, you do not get to choose where these boxes come from. They just sort of randomly pick locations. Gang, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for spending time with me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be well. We'll see you soon, and make sure everybody take care.